yeah, it was a lovely place to work for. It was, it was comparable. It was like the uh, Harrods of Croydon, if you like. That's what we felt. It was a beautiful place, historic. And um, I mean, I could tell you a story about an old lady that worked there, went to work there at the turn of the century. Um, my mum, it was my mum's friend's mum, and when she was 14, she, she got a job working for the granddaughter of one of the um, Alders family, the grand, worked for the grandmother of one of the Alders family. She was 14 years old and she, worked, she was employed to work in the house within the Alders building itself to set the fires in the morning, etc., and look after the, the um, grandmother. And um, the grandmother was impressed and liked her, etc. And she said, well, why don't you go home and fetch all of your belongings and bring them and live here? She had to live in. She said, this is all I have, everything that she was wearing. This is all I have. These are my possessions. So they fitted her out with some new clothes, everything, down to her underwear, everything. And everywhere that the girls went who worked in the house, they were chaperoned everywhere. And even when she, would, she wanted to get married, she had to ask permission from the grandmother, from the Alders clan, if you like. And yet they agreed and let her marry. And yeah, and of course, when you got married back then, you had to leave and that. But um, yeah, Alders were very good to that lady. And her, her daughter, my mum's friend, she never forget that. She said, there's still the front door for the apartments, for the house, still there at Alders.